Carlo again. A little bit different today. I'm kind of doing a review of something, I guess. Well, anyway, as uh, so I suggest. So I've backed a few Kickstarter projects. I have a select few of them here. I have these two, which are exactly the same thing with different sizes. They're actually pens or pencils. They're called Forever Pen. More like a pencil, I think. I also have a a Jogo, which is coffee, because I love coffee. And I have, what are they called? Chop Chucks. Yeah, exactly, Chop Chucks. What a weird concept. So, what are they? Do you know what Kickstarter is, I guess? So, Kickstarter is a platform where people can show off their ideas and get the general public, like you or me, to actually back the project. And if they get enough funds, they can then complete the project, ship out whatever it is. It could be a product, could be a book, could be an album, whatever it is they're trying to raise the money for. It is crowdfunding on quite a good scale. Kickstarter has been around for quite a while and they have probably millions of successful projects. So, what did I get? So, let's have a look first at the Chop Chucks. Nice little case. It was actually a bonus. So, sometimes you can pledge different amounts. The earlier you do it, the bigger discount you can generally get on products. So, this one is actually chopsticks, but they're called Chop Chucks because they're also a bit of a fidget toy. So, as I was saying, the case itself came as a little bit of a bonus. When they hit certain thresholds after the minimum amount they wanted they add in different things and that case was one of those things they added so if i take it out you see they are nunchucks they are titanium they spin you can do all sorts of tricks and nonsense with them i can't do obviously because i'm completely inept at things like that but that's what they are they are you know, titanium nunchucks that do also come apart so what you do is they as you can see can you see that there you go so as you can see they come apart come on there you go so they come apart and that's the chopstick there they don't stay attached to that you can actually take them off and attach them then back onto that and you have one chopstick. You can also do the same with the other one, which I will quickly do now. It's a little bit fiddly. They have released a new version, which I think might still be on Kickstarter now, as far as I know. So if I put those there, so you can see, they are quite nice titanium chopsticks. That was not quite tightened out. There you go. And they are quite usable as chopsticks. They're not bad at all. They're nice to keep in a pocket for emergencies. If you happen to be having some food that requires chopsticks, you can always have them on you. As I said, it is a bit of a fidget toy as well. They do have a lot of tricks and stuff like that on the website that you can follow the tutorial videos and do stuff that I can't do. Bear in mind, they are titanium. So when they hit your knuckles, they will hurt quite a bit trust me i've obviously done it a few times and hurt myself because i as i said i'm a little bit useless but what do you expect there you go and then they just go back together like that but i said the new ones i think don't come down into quite so many pieces but you put the little end caps back on so then you don't lose them and they become the classic nunchucks again they did come in a couple of different colors. I got the standard stainless steel, I think, for my set, or the standard titanium. This is the, like, stone wash, something like that, I think it was called. But you see, it's like kind of a, a dull gun metal kind of color. So, quite good, as you can feel them. Ding, ding. Titanium. So, there we go. That is those. I also have, as I said, pens. Let's open up the littlest one. So, these carbon friendly packaging blah 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 and what they actually are did i open it the wrong way probably knowing me why do i always open up packets the wrong way around ah there we go Do do do. the world's tiniest pen i've got this in a brass color 
might actually be brass. Possibly. So. As you can see, it's kind of like a bullet. So it's got brass on the back with a little hole. We'll put it on a keyring. And the front end is a composite including silver. Now the whole point of this is you can use it as a pen. It's also quite sharp, so you can use it for opening packages and that sort of thing as well. Okay, so as you can see, nice white paper. Yeah, it's got holes in because it's a like, big drawing pad. See the little pen? It's gonna focus. No, it's not gonna focus on at all. So it's quite faint. Hopefully you can see that. Let me try zooming in. Okay, so let's try. It does look kind of like it's not doing anything, but it is actually leaving a mark. But it'd be better on the box. Ah, there you go. It's pencil-like marks, quite faint, but it does in fact work. There you go, that's better. Doesn't work so much on white paper, I think. White paper is a little bit of a fail. It does work. It does work. It's just quite faint. So look, can we get more of a mark? A little bit. Don't know. It does work better on the the rougher. I think this paper is a little bit too good for it. But you get the idea. That's a small, and then I have this larger packet, which is a larger pen. The other one did come in the wrapper as well, but yes, I took that out factless. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. So see, this is all titanium with once again, hole in the back for a keyring or put it on a zipper, something like that. So you've always got it with you. Once again, ah, there you go. That one works better. Now this sort of thing, is not new technology, but Leonardo da Vinci used something similar using silver for a lot of his sketches and that sort of thing. So it does work. But once again, it's better on less white paper. Once again, if I take this box, see quite clearly, that does work like a pencil. I said they call it a pen, but it is more of a pencil and it should last in theory forever. So I'm not sure how, but it is supposed to last pretty much forever. So that's pretty cool. I quite like that because it means you've got a pen everywhere you go, which is really useful. I don't use it as much as I thought I might. I've not really taken it out anyway because I meant to do this a while ago. I've had it for quite a while. I'm fairly busy doing other videos and working. And you know, it's like a hundred other things, so I've not really done as much as I had hoped to do, to be honest, but there we go. So anyway, I digress and I shall carry on with the Jogo, which I've also had for quite some time. So I've got a little packet there. Let's get this out. All right, so we have the Jogo. And a brush. And sticker. and various color tips so what is this i hear you ask it is a coffee straw yes it is a straw for coffee great why that's what you may be asking yes i do wonder exactly the same myself but here we go i bought it anyway so imagine the situation you're going out camping or in a hotel or traveling somewhere and like me you're a bit of a coffee slob snob not slob coffee snob get the words right will you so you want good coffee you don't want to have instant coffee but you don't want to take all the power from an alien with you you don't want to take a v60 you don't want to take an aeropress you haven't got the space or you just don't have the facilities to use something like that so this is where this comes in so as you can see it is a straw it has a rubber end so you don't burn yourself and it has this end which as you can possibly see, Go on, is it going to let me? Is it going to let me? 
There you go. It has a very, very fine mesh. So if I take this apart, so that is the straw, and then that is the fine mesh, and the mesh goes all the way around, fairly to the bottom. And note, you don't put anything in there. Nothing at all goes in there. What it is you do is you just get a mug, any kind of mug, and just fill it with just hot water and coffee. That's it. Ground coffee, water, milk, sugar, whatever you want. Put the straw in, stir it around, and let it steep. And then you just drink. You don't have to filter it because this will filter it as you drink. Odd concept. It actually works, to be honest. There's no reason why it wouldn't. It's got a nice little mesh. It stops any coffee grinds going up. Got a fine little mesh. Stops any coffee grinds going up through the straw, which is actually pretty good. So I can't fault that. It just, I'm not sure. It feels weird drinking hot coffee through a straw. Now I know people that like doing that. Me, uh, I'm not so sure. I like cups and mugs. Straws are for cold drinks. And here it is. As you can see, the straw is in the mug full of coffee. It's just, as I said, hot water, one teaspoon of coffee grinds, and that's it. So how does it taste? Tastes like coffee. Can't fault it. It's quite a nice flavor. It's not too bitter or anything else, which I'd, I'd expect to be a lot more bitter when you're just pouring hot water on the grinds, but it's actually fine. It filters quite nicely. There's no grinds in my mouth. It works. It's just it's a straw. And I really do think you need to drink cold things with straw, not hot things. But it does work. So maybe for holidays and camping and that kind of thing, that might be quite good. So maybe I'll try for something like that soon. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'm going to drink my coffee and I shall talk to you again soon. Cheers.